Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lo-Fi Codes. I'm your host, David Fitzgibbon. So today we're going to look at SVGs. I've got a friend in work who's a designer, Stuart, and he's working with Sketch and Illustrator all day. So we all love SVGs. They're vector graphics. They'll scale to any size. You can change their colors with CSS. They're really flexible in more ways than one. You can actually flex them and you can change their colors. They're a really nice alternative to having to use raster graphics. We were looking at an SVG the last day. We were looking at the code behind it and making a few edits. And Stuart was saying that it looked pretty complicated. Though a lot of the complication tends to be brought in by Sketch and Illustrator themselves. They're, they're not really trying to, but they do try and optimize an SVG, but their goal is also to make it usable in their program. So maybe the SVG isn't perfectly optimized for a human to go and have a look at it. Um, it's really so that their tool will work with the SVG. So there are simpler ways of making SVGs. So I'm gonna try and show a simpler SVG today. So not only do we love SVGs, myself and Stuart, but we also love Wolfpack. And Wolfpack have an album cover for Thrill of the Arts that is perfect for learning about SVGs. Essentially, we just have a few straight lines to draw. So that's what we're gonna look at today. Let's jump over to some code. I've got the basics of that album cover set out. I've got a nice little home here. We're gonna put the SVG in there. I've got some CSS. That's just gonna make our SVG play nice. It's not much code. It's really just saying, take up all the width, except for the padding, and sit on the bottom of the page. So let's just jump straight in. Let's just try and do one line and start off. So we're gonna need an SVG element. That's kind of given. And when you look at the output of Sketch or Illustrator, you'll see all this code. There's XML definitions, there are comments about Sketch, this Illustrator doing their own advertising in there. There's too much. So we can make this really simple. We only need two parameters on this SVG. We're gonna put a width, and we're gonna tell it to be 100%. So it's just gonna take up all the room across our screen. And we're also going to give it a view box. So this tells it how big it is. So at the moment we've we're starting it down in this corner. We might just open up the tools so we can see how this is changing. So we've got an SVG down here and it's going all the way across. It's 150 pixels tall for no particular reason. It's just trying to be what it is. That's kind of a default. So we're going to pop in the dimensions that we need to get the shape working. Now I checked them earlier by measuring on the album cover and now you can see that that's pretty much the area that the red lines take up. Cool. And that's all we need to start off our SVG. So, oh sorry, I'm, I'm stuck in this mode. Perfect. So now what we need is a path. So we're gonna make a path element in here. We're gonna add some parameters in. So the first thing you add in a path is what I call a draw, it's just D. That's not what it stands for, I don't think, but um, I think it's kind of drawing. And we're so we're pretending we have a cursor. So if we jump back over our SVG, if you look at the top left of the blue area, that's where our zero, zero is for our X and Y axis, and that's where our cursor starts. So with that in mind, where we're up in the top left corner of that blue square, we're going to move with M, zero pixels on the x-axis, because we want to just come straight down. 
and 77 pixels on the y-axis. And from there, we want to draw a line with L. We want to go 310 pixels across the x-axis, and then we want to go back up 75 pixels on the y-axis. So we can't see anything here, which is no fun. So we'll add in some styles so we can see what's going on. It's a style. We're going to say our stroke. I looked this up earlier. I'm not just some kind of hex savant. And we have a line. I'm going to get rid of this so we're not distracting anybody. We have our line. The first part, we've come no pixels across on the X, 77 pixels down on the Y, and then we've drawn a line, 310 pixels across on the X, and minus 75 pixels on the Y. So if we want to come down here, all we need to do is go another 117 pixels on the x-axis, so over this way, and then we want to come back down another 75. And now we've hit another issue. We've got the right shape, but it's filled in. So we want to say fill none, and then if we compare to the album cover, those lines are a little thicker, so we're going to give it a stroke width of 2 pixels. Cool. Lovely. So now, all we need, so that's just one path. So to get the next line, nothing too strenuous. We've got another one there. So let's go down a few more pixels. And we're starting off, so we're starting again up here. We want to move our cursor further down, so let's try 90. And because these parameters are relative to where our cursor is, we've come down 90 and we've done parallel lines to what we have here, because we're moving the same amounts. So we've already got the, the bones of the next line, but they don't go as high. So let's not move back up as high here, let's say 70 pixels. Cool. But then again, because it's relative, this is parallel, but then we're losing it here. So we only want to come down 70 pixels again. So we're starting to get our shape. If we were to do another one, let's bring this one down like 110. Cool. And then go less up again, up and down. We're, we're starting to get our shape, kind of. This is all very rough. So this is where I'm going to jump in and do a... Here's one I made earlier. So I've used some JavaScript to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to show you here. If I, It was just easier to work out with a few variables. So there's pretty much exactly the album cover. And if we go in and look at the code, you'll see all it is. If we get this out of the way, come on. What is happening here? All it is is that SVG with a whole load of paths and just those three rules that we set the same fill, stroke, stroke width and that's all it is, that SVG it looks like a lot of code but now that you know that each one is just a path it starts to be a bit more accessible so if you want to learn more there's always the MDN docs they can be a bit heavy getting into it. I recommend going for a look at Sarah Drasner's YouTube video here, Building an SVG. 
from start to finish. I'll link it up in the notes. It's brilliant. I was a bit intimidated myself at the start. I watched this video and it's incredible what Sarah gets done in, what's that, 44 minutes? And I think there's like a lot of static at the start. So maybe 40 minutes of talking and coding. And it's ridiculous what she manages to do, um, which led me to getting her book, which has been brilliant. I'm only a few chapters in, but I'm already much more comfortable going in changing SVGs by hand. So there you have it. That's how to make a Wolfpack album cover out of SVGs. Thank you for watching Lo-Fi Codes. If you have any feedback or thoughts about this video, please leave a comment below. If you like what you saw, please subscribe for a new video every Friday or check out another video here.